In 1933, Dr. Chaim Weizmann visited this exact spot. Back then, it was all just a mountain of sand. Even so, he chose to establish the Daniel Seif Research Institute right here. Years later, Dr. Weizmann described that visit by saying, It looked at first as if you were going to sink in a sea of sand. There was not a tree or blade of grass to adorn the vast courtyard. I had before my eyes the green lawns of English and American universities and scientific academies and thought that we would be showing a lack of aesthetic feeling if we merely planked down the buildings and did nothing with the surroundings. One of the main factors in Dr. Weizmann's choice to establish his beloved research institute here in Rehovot was the presence of an agricultural research station. Part of the research station was dedicated to acclimatizing unique subtropical trees, such as mango, papaya, lychee and avocado, which were the foundations for the subtropical agriculture in Israel. The campus, as it is today, indeed fulfills Weizmann's vision for greening the sandy hills of Israel with an academic campus that rivals in look and feel some of the most beautiful campuses in the world. The impressive buildings, alongside with a lawn dotted by a variety of plants and trees, and a wide array of sculptures designed by prominent Israeli artists create an inspiring and uplifting environment in which scientists feel at peace doing their cutting-edge research. The tree behind me, called cork oak, is producing a very thick layer of cork, which we know from wine bottles, fishing uh, rods, and other applications. And this tree is a very old tree. It's producing a lot of cork, but highly inefficient. Our lab recently discovered a regulatory gene that controls the production of cork in plants. And now we can deliver genes into different plant species and produce cork. We hope that this discovery will allow us to produce cork in other tree species for different uh, industries and different uses. The water plants behind me uh, live in an aquatic environment and need to cope daily with different creatures, different organisms that live in the pool and surround them. And uh, one of the main tools they use to interact with this environment is actually releasing materials into the pool and by this attract the good guys and deter the bad guys. In my lab, we're trying to understand how these plants release the chemical into the environment. In the future, we might use this information to produce chemicals that can be used as antibacterial or insecticides. Chaim Weizmann's vision of an advanced research institution comprised of lawns, trees and gardens has become a reality and has inspired many institutions in Israel and around the world. Come and enjoy with us the beauty of the Weizmann campus. See you on our next tour.